guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you a few bits that I've picked up. I made a Sephora order for a birthday present from me to me. I hit up Superdrug which is a store that, although there are a few brands which are similar to Boots, there are a few other bits that I got from there. And I also got a couple duty free bits which I thought I'd share with you from when I went on holiday. So without further ado, I'm going to do them in order. So we're going to go duty free first. I'll be really honest with you. Here's the box for the foundation I got. It's the Perfection Lumiere. I have absolutely no idea where I've put it. Um, it's just been my birthday, so I have so many bags and boxes of wonderful things that people have given me and just stuff lying about absolutely everywhere, more than usual. Of course, when I come to sit down to film, I have absolutely no idea where it is. Anyway, so I'm gonna film a close-up of this foundation when I do, no doubt, five minutes after I turn this camera off, find it. I can see it! Liar! Here it is. This is the Perfection Lumiere. I literally just cast my eye down and saw a little bag and I saw this popping up. Anyway, so this looks a little something like this. Comes with a pump. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you with this foundation, right? We're not getting on right now. It's not bad. It's just not as good as the other Chanel foundations. But I think it's got something to do with my skin at the moment as opposed to the foundation. Because with the price that Chanel foundations are, they're going to be good. It's just whether or not they're right for you. But I also picked up a perfume from Duty Free. This is the Prada Candy Lure, which is the lighter pink one. I think the standard one's like a bright fuchsia pink packaging wise. Can I just say I really enjoy this Art Deco stuff. Although Prada Candy doesn't come with a lid, it comes with this cute little thing here. So if you do still want to travel with it, which I've kept hold of, which I thought was pretty cool. It does smell sweet, but like a mature sweet. I don't know, I was kind of in need of a new daily fragrance. I say in need, I need none of this stuff that I'm showing you. Um, I liked one though, and so I picked this up whilst I was in the airport, and yeah, I quite like it. Right, next, moving on to the main event, I have my Sephora order, as you can see. It's upside down because I opened it upside down, but you know, whatever. Um, I've actually had this, not ages, I've had this about a week, this order, so I have tried a few of these products. Let's start kind of with the reason that I made this order, and it's the little Nars birthday gift. This is um, the Beauty Insider birthday gift, which you can get in your birthday month, and this year it's two Nars pencils. One's in Cruella, which I already have, but that's a beautiful colour, and I've also got one in Rikugian, which is like a sort of, this is a satin finish, and it's sort of an easy to wear pink, so uh, yes, this is kind of the reason that I was like, I'm gonna make one now, but also because I have lovely generous relatives who I knew were gonna give me money for my birthday, so I could sort of say, I bought this stuff and you got me some of it, and I also got my mum's birthday present as well from Sephora, which I don't have on me because I've given it to my mother, but yeah. Uh, moving on, let's stick with lips, shall we? I've got two more Sephora lip creams. I already have shade number one and shade number three, but I wanted to pick up two more. So I've got number 10, which is what I've actually got on my lips right now, which is, uh, oh my, well, it looks very orange on camera, but it's sort of a little, well, I suppose it is orange. It's like a little bit red, but very orange. And uh, This is called Mandarin Muse and it's number 10. And as I said, that's what I've got on right now. I also got number 13, which is Marvelous Mauve, which is the first neutral I've got on this formula, actually. Um, I also really wanna try the Kat Von D ones, but in the grand scheme of things, these are pretty cheap, you know? I think they come to about eight pounds once you transfer it over, and I still think that's before tax. But even still, that's pretty cheap for um, a high-end lipstick, I suppose. So thanks, Sephora. Speaking of Kat Von D, I do love the Kat Von D makeup line. And one thing that I really wanted was the Shade and Light eye palette. I actually have this on my eyes today. And I can tell you what sold me on this palette. Because it is another matte neutral palette and I don't need another one. But let me show you. This color right here is what sold me on this here palette. Because I was just like, oh, it's just so red. I hate my fringe is at that really awkward length. And I just love ready eyeshadows for my eyes and I just think, I'm probably going to get a lot of use out of this. It is pretty um, cumbersome, I will be honest with you. Um, but I am tempted to get the actual shade and light contour palette as well. But yeah, I just think I am going to get a lot of use out of this. I know it may not necessarily be the most interesting, but equally I feel like it's kind of like a naked palette for goths. So <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Um, and so far so good and the shallow quality is great. I cannot complain so far. Everything else I got from Sephora are cheap products. Now I'm going to start with Too Faced because I've got two 
Too Faced products. The first one is Too Faced Soulmates and I got it in Carry and Big. Now I believe this is a limited edition blushing bronzer, although it came out at the beginning of the year and you can still get hold of it. So I don't think it's one of those must run and get it right away products if you wanted it. Um, and can you see, can you see why I got this product? I think it's pretty self-explanatory what tipped me over the edge. But also, I've never tried any bronzers from Too Faced before, and I've always heard good things about their powder products, so I thought I'd give this a go, and I just thought I had to have this in my collection, because just look at it, look at it. Slightly off topic, do you like my little rat's nest on the top of my head? I've got one of those, um, bun shapers in and I didn't want to look too much like an air hostess but it's just going a little bit wild isn't it anyway that's another story let me show you this blush so this is carrying big which is the lighter one of the two but uh the bronze is also a little bit more warmer um well, I will say it's not like crazy mad pigmented which isn't necessarily a bad thing I don't think for bronzers because I don't want like stripes on my face and so I just thought it'd be a nice I think this would be a nice product for me when I'm not fancying wearing all that much makeup and I just want to do a swirl just to pop around my head and then pat a little bit into this um, for my cheeks and I just think it was cute. And I also actually picked up one of their new blushes which is the Love Flush. I got mine in Love Hangover which is a pretty pink. Uh, let me show that to you. Looks a little something like this. Um, if you want size reference, oh, let's layer these up shall we. Uh, the bronze is actually pretty hefty, to be honest with you, and then this is the blush which sort of fits in the palm of my hand. Um, it's got this cute little pattern on it. Um, I just fancied a new blush, you know. I've been loving, and I still love, Stereo Rose by MAC. Uh, the majority of my other blushes are in blush palettes, which I love having blush palettes, um, and I just really enjoy palettes in general. I'm a big palette lover. That's all fine and dandy, but when obviously I'm trying to like travel and carry around with stuff, I kind of want just one. And I just thought this would be super duper cute. And it's just in a sort of inoffensive pink. Uh, it's just easy to wear to go with everything. And so far so good. I've actually also got this on my cheeks right now as well, if you wanted to see what it looks like on, but I do like it. And last but not least from Sephora, of course, I have got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector by Jaclyn Hill, which is called Champagne Pop. Now, I don't actually watch Jaclyn Hill videos, but A, I thought this colour was like nothing that I have in my collection. And also, I'm very much team internet, just because I don't watch her videos. Maybe I'll start. Um, you know, I thought, there, go on. It's good to see a good old beauty blogger. Uh, bringing out really lovely products. Um, but yeah, this is also the first product from Becca that I've got and it's just, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Just let's give it this, shall we? Oh, it's just, it is beautiful on the cheeks. Um, and this is gonna last you an absolute age as well because you just need the tiniest amount. But I also think it'll look good on the eyes. I think this would be actually a really good product to travel with again. But although I have heard a few people of theirs smashing, so that would suck. But yes, so that was my little present from Sephora. But I also went to Superdrug, so I thought I'd quickly run through what I got from there the other day as well. I rarely go into Superdrug, mainly because the one in Bristol City Centre isn't that great. It doesn't have all the brands, but the one in Cribs Causeway does. This is definitely Bristol trivia. And I'm just a big boots lover. I like my boots Advantage card points, although you can, they have a point system in Superdrug. I don't know, I just rarely go in there. But when I go in there, I try to pick up the brands that you can't get in boots. Speaking of, I did get two products that you can. I got myself, here's the box for it. Um, this is what I applied my blush for um, just before I started this video. But this is the Stipping Brush from Real Techniques. You've probably seen this before. I actually didn't own this brush. I'm having a bit of a minute for stippling brushes. So I decided to pick myself up another one. And I also got this lipstick from Kate Moss. This is part of their new nudes collection from Rimmel. They have five nude lipsticks and five nude nail polishes to all correspond, but I just wanted the lipstick. This is in shade number 45. Um, what I will say from the collection, a lot of them are very much true nudes. Although they do go down to a dark, there's like one sort of deeper brown, which is for the obviously deeper skin tones. I went for number 45, which is the second to last darkest one. And the reason it is, although that obviously is called the nudes collection, so it's supposed to be nude, um, my natural lip color is pretty red. Um, and it's pretty like a dark in colour and it just looks stupid if I put um, a wash of nude over the top. It just doesn't look right. So that's why I went for a darker one. And it's sort of like a satin finish and I just think this again is just going to be a nice easy lipstick to wear and throw in your bag. I also got some brush cleaner 
Um, I needed a brush cleaner, like a, I always shampoo my brushes with Dr. Bonner's soap, but I wanted something that was, oh, this is sticky, that's cute. Um, I wanted something that I could just easily spritz onto a brush and rub off onto a towel, because I used to have some, I think, from e.l.f., but I have no idea where that's gone. So I picked this up, um, I think it was about a fiver. But I think if you've got the Super Drug Rewards card, you can get 10% off B products. But yeah, so I just thought, again, I needed something like this. But actually, I think the thing I'm most excited about, um, in the Super Drug, they do a brand called Makeup Revolution, which is super duper cheap. I've actually picked up one of their palettes and one of their highlighters, and I think they're actually really not that bad. So whilst I was at their counter looking at their stuff, um, I noticed these two here. Um, these are their eyeshadows. Um, this one's in Hung Up and this one's in Mocha Love. And these are a grand total of a pound each. And I just thought they really reminded me of the Inglot um, contouring shades, like both the shape of the palette, but also the colors. Um, I don't know if it's picking up so much on camera, but Mocha Love, which is this one here, is a smidgen bit more, um, brown and a little bit deeper in colour but um, hung ups, they're both actually pretty cool in tone so I thought they'd be really good for contouring, particularly budget contouring because you don't understand how close I am to buying a £35 Kevin Aquan powder but that's £35 so I could get 35 of these if I wanted to. Um, I don't want to though, <laughs> that's probably the whole collection. Um, but yeah, so I thought about trying these as contour shades. They're both matte, I think like hung up, it's got like uh, almost like satin finish but Mocha Love is definitely matte. So I thought I would try these out. Um, I think you are going to need a pretty good brush um, just to make sure they blend but you know what like they're really like not that bad they're pretty soft you know and I just thought yeah they're not the most pigmented things but who as I said with the Too Faced ones nobody wants like a massive stripe on their face do they? So I will report back on these um, I'll probably write something on the blog about them but I thought you know for a quid each if, if I don't like them you know what's that a meal deal you know what I mean? So anyway that is everything from me I hope you're having an absolutely lovely day um subscribe if you're not that'd be lovely if you did um but yeah i will chat to you guys soon thanks so much for watching lazy bye